Systicon are experts in producing world-leading logistics software. The tool suite includes Simlox, a simulation tool that employs Monte Carlo discrete event simulation techniques. By introducing the time dimension and random events, the results provide an appreciation of risk over time, meaning the user can determine the likely outcomes of a given scenario, resulting in a much better understanding of the problem and the relationships within it. This demonstration describes the Simlox results and report capabilities. Once run, Simlox presents a chart for the defined problem or problems. The plot shown is dependent on user selections, but the initial plot shows the mean number of systems available over simulation time. By right-clicking on the chart, other options are made available. For example, results can be limited to specific units, and averaged over the whole simulation if required. Values can be set for user-defined percentiles or the time measure can be adjusted. As with other Systicon tools, the results from other models can also be plotted on the same chart. Each plot can be selected simply by clicking on it or using the menu option. A complex reporting facility is also offered. Reports contain a set of user-selected objects. To select the objects, the Report Setup facility can be used. Once selected, the report format can be saved to be recalled at a later date. Report objects available include General Results, which include a summary and report for each replication of the simulation. System Results, which are available for each unit, or totaled for all units. Results for system states, availability, unavailability and assignments are available. For each, a table of data averaged over the result collection interval, averaged over the entire simulation or taken at the snapshot interval is offered. In addition, a table of all data is also available. Mission results are available for each unit or totaled for all units. Results for mission time, accumulated mission time, system time and accumulated system time, together with results for fixed, regenerative and continuous missions, where appropriate, are offered. For each, a table of data averaged over the result collection interval or averaged over the entire simulation is also offered. If items have been tracked, various information for each tracked item at each unit is available. These include stock levels, demands, stock weighting, risk of shortage and probability of back order. For each, results can be plotted against simulation time or averaged over the simulation. In addition, a table is available containing all data. A similar set of results is available for each item at each unit as a summary, likewise as overall results for item statistics. Resource statistics can also be selected. These are available for each resource at each unit. Once again, they can be averaged over the result collection interval and plotted against time, averaged over the entire simulation or taken at the snapshot interval. Finally, it's possible to include a plot of the support organisation. For most of these selections, the report objects can be either tables or charts. Note that reports will be generated for the result file selected in the result window. It is possible to produce reports for each of the plots, but to do this, multiple report windows must be selected. Let's take a look at a few of the report objects. First, the result summary. This is simply a summary of the model. It includes such things as the number of replications executed, results collection interval and overall statistics such as mean mission start fraction. The replication results provide details of each replication of the simulation, 
By using the start seed, any one or more replications can be repeated in isolation. This mission time plot shows the number of hours mission time that was achieved, averaged over the result collection period and number of iterations. Note also that the target value and a percentile will also be shown, but the latter only if selected in the result setup window. The accumulated mission time plot allows the target hours to be easily compared with the achieved hours and the percentile if selected. The system state plot indicates the number of systems that were available in operation, ready for a mission, unavailable or lost due to attrition. Connected with this is the system unavailability plot. This shows why systems were unavailable. Unavailability can be for one of several reasons. Waiting resources, waiting items, in transport, in PM, or being repaired. Most result objects can be shown as tabulated data. Here we see the system results. These are useful if the results required are not already included in a plot or are to be plotted in a different way. By copying the results to Excel, the data can be processed manually. In addition, the data could be exported to an external database and combined with other results for processing. Here is an example of a plot for an item showing stock levels, nominal stock levels and outstanding demands or back orders. The resource plot provides similar information to that already described, but for resources. Finally, a plot is available showing the organisations used in the model. All objects can be copied and pasted to external programmes for inclusion in study reports. It's important to note that this is merely an overview of the model and many features have not been covered. For more information about our tools, please select another demonstration. Or for more detailed information about our products, please contact us or visit our website at www.systicon.co.uk.